Amira, I want to start this off with a bang because uh, I want to make sure the viewers aren't, don't feel like they're wasting their time here. So kind of, I wanted to share some of the success stories, the transformational stories that by the looks of it, you're, you're kind of seen on a near daily basis these days. It's truly incredible. So any, any that kind of come up to your mind, uh, you know, far away. Sure. Um, there was a time where I was, um, you know, I've been doing this work so long, so I've got lots of stories. But um, one prominent one that jumps into my mind was when I was living in Dubai, I was working with a client that came to me. He was a life coach and a personal trainer. And he was hitting, he was a real hard driver, you know, and he kept everything he did was falling apart. He was an avid um, um, personal development seeker and he spent a fortune on top branded mm. coaches. I could drop some names here. You, know. you might think of maybe this. La maybe later. <laughs> What's that? Maybe later. We'll drop me. Well, we'll and, ease, and so ease them into spent, it. So he spent a fortune on training and development. He even missed his mother's uh, funeral because he was so much in debt. And after working together, um, his life completely transformed and he started living his dream and doing the work that he've, he's always dreamt of in acting and being a performer on stage. That was Manju. Uh, another another person that jumps to mind is Dr. Michael, who is a very successful um, businessman. He owned se several smile uh, doc uh, clinics, I guess you could say, um, dental offices in Dubai and Sweden and multiple places around the world. And he was on track to being a billionaire. So this man wasn't an, an issue of having mo needing money, but he was going through a very difficult time in his life with his marriage um, and regrouping his business. And he was so busy and so many, you know, pies spinning in the air that he needed a way to ground himself and feel centered to clear the energy so that he could keep on track to his goals that he had. And after working together, he, it was amazing. He said, Amira, there's not a day that goes by that I don't listen to your special tools. Mm. Another client that came to me was referred by a top uh, internist in Dubai and she was struggling with uh, depression and they tried a lot of different types of medications and those had negative effects and just you know she wasn't effective she couldn't think she couldn't yeah she was sleeping more but you know that wasn't really what she was going for so after working together you know that lady Puna was involved with she was registered to actually become a psychologist and she was going to the high Ivy League school of training well so she thought after working together we discovered her passion and she began studying cooking and baking and ended up being in the Mo in the Cordon Bleu school of cooking in France and her stories just roll and roll she she's amazing all the manifestations that she's created from that training and the work we did together so I'm always so excited when I, I get more excited talking about my clients because their lives have completely transformed and it's it's very fulfilling to watch yeah, it must be, must be. Even just kind of quickly giving the context to the viewers, like you mentioned the keyword energy, um, kind of transformation, of course. But a lot of this is focused, Amira's work is focused on professionals, business owners, entrepreneurs, such as myself. That's how we kind of got connected. And she mentioned as well to reignite their passion because there was a time where maybe it was six months in, maybe a year in, where you were just super fired up. You love the process. You love learning about it. Maybe it was a new business. Maybe it was a new career choice, a new promotion. But then slowly that kind of fizzled out and so did your energy levels, maybe your confidence, self-doubt kind of creeped in. So a lot of our work is focused on boosting those energy levels, but not how you might think. It's not about productivity. It's not about kind of making the best coffee or having an energy drink to temporarily fix that. This is about permanently fix fixing that by removing the kind of dramas, the energy blocks and traumas. Now, even me just saying that word trauma, it's going to freak a few people out, Amira. So maybe you can dive into what trauma itself is and make people know that it doesn't just apply to war people and, you know, stuff, you know, people who've had a abusive childhood, for example, though both are the case, but it goes far deeper than that. Absolutely. You know, that's the thing most people don't understand. Last year, um, the monumental setbacks that we've all experienced have been a trauma. 
And as a result, there's been a lot of drama, whether it's in your home, your health, your relationships, and trying to overcome that, you know, it's just a snapshot in time, yes. Um, and you could say, well, I was doing great before that hit. Okay, so we can talk about that later. But a lot of us have experiences from our childhood that began a long time ago. And you might say, oh, well, that I for you know, that's way in ancient history now. Yeah. But those are energetic. I call them malware or like an energetic mm -hmm. virus that is sort of dropped in your energy field. And you're you're oblivious to it. You know, it's over there buzzing around behind the screen. It's like a little ticker tape. And every now and again, it comes around and it derails you. You know, like Manju, I was telling you about, you know, he, he would get fired up and he would do all the things that the gurus and the branded coaches told him to do, but then he would derail and he couldn't figure out what it was. And it was because of that hidden, I call it a pocket of information or an archived bit of data that you're storing and you don't realize it, you know, it's that baggage that you're hauling around. It's it's like buried and you don't want to talk about it or think about it, but it's um, well hidden and well protected. But those are the things that we work on that most people never, never access. And this is profound. This is This is game changing. And for successful people, most of the clients I work with are highly successful. Um, or they've had some success in their life and then they've hit a wall and they don't understand what. Everything they've been using up until now has worked. Or maybe they, like you said, they get to a breaking point and that's just lost its fizzle or sizzle anymore. You know, they don't, yeah. It doesn't turn them on anymore and they want something more meaningful, but they can't find it. You know, That's why they reach out to me. Got it, got it. I mean so many things to cover even like the very system itself we're going to go into the steps on how to overcome this how to kind of bring those energy levels up so you are operating from a new energy level a different energy level but i have to bring this this question up uh, for the viewers and kind of put you on the spot amira because i know this is whether consciously or subconsciously they have this on, on the back of their mind and there are many gurus mentors coaches out there today especially in the internet world so what is it that makes you unique See, what a lot of people don't understand, I'd say the majority of people don't understand this, is that their current situation in reality is set in place or it's created, generated based on a set of decisions you made. And those decisions that you made were based on some emotions that you had. You may have not been aware of it. And those emotions were triggered by a, a paradigm or your identity an understanding of who you think you are. And all of that was set in place by energy. So at the, at the, I often use a pyramid to, to, to point this and show it out to people, is that the energy is at the top of the pyramid and the most important aspect that nobody talks about. And you might say, oh, well, good vibes only. Well, how do you get to those good vibes when you just feel like you're grumpy and nothing you're doing is working or you're just, you're flat. I mean, it's like the pop that's lost its sizzle, you know, you're just flatlining and meds, drugs, you know, a boost of coffee, those are all temporary and some of them screw you up even worse. So what we have to get to is that access point of the energy. Well, why am I different? Because I can see that energy, as I've mentioned, and I can help you eradicate, remove, disintegrate, unplug the, the as I said, the virus, I call it a virus, because it's foreign to you. It doesn't belong in your archive of soul information, of your own spiritual blueprint, let's call it. Okay, so when we can extract that, it puts you on track to va -voom. Let's let, you know, I'm going to be here to do what I do, you know, make magic, make, I'm, I'm a creator, you know, you're meant to create. That's why we're all here. And what is that that you want to create from your heart? How to connect with that? Ooh, I'm getting goosebumps as I channel this information. I and channel. You can even I go one level deeper. I, I think you've got a very, very incredible story and in how are you able to see this stuff and how you kind of, you know, how, what was your kind of epiphany point? And I think that started way, way back in like, was it 1997, if I remember correctly? Yeah. Uh, I think you should really, really 
can open up, be a bit vulnerable, of course, uh, and tell them on how what your what your journey was to get you into this kind of um, kind of world. Well, actually, it goes back a whole lot longer, but I'm not going to tell that mm. part because then I'm really giving away some real secrets. But the truth of it is, I've always been curious in the unseen world, right? I was raised in a very conservative background in Canada. However, I was on track like many people and that I work with, successful career person, driven, m- making awards, you know, receiving national uh, accolades. Um, and then I, w- I got to a point where I wanted more. And I was sort of drawn to this spiritual pilgrimage. And I first went to Peru and I was working in the jungle with a shaman And I had this strange, bizarre experience of going through what I call a stargate. I I, I wasn't a Trekkie. I didn't watch things like this. Mm. I was pretty, you know, conservative and, you know, studious and, and, and trying to make success in my life. So, so there I was, and I saw myself shooting like a, a shooting star. And I'm like, what's that? And it was a bizarre moment. And I knew in that moment I needed to go to Egypt. I, I didn't really question it. I didn't know how I was going to get there. I didn't know. I didn't have the money. But I went, okay, well, if I get the money, then I'll go. And it was like that simple in my mind. Guess what? I had a tax return and I went, okay, this is the money I'm supposed to use. Got myself to Egypt in an amazing spiritual pilgrimage. And on the last day of my trip, I had a near-death experience. Now, everybody wants to know what happened, what happened, what happened. That I'm going to save for another time, all right? I promise you, I'll share it. But what happened was I I wasn't myself and I was starting to see things differently. I remember resting in the bed in the room that I was in and overlooking the Nile Valley. And there was this window open and there was these draperies fluttering in the window. And I kept saying, I can't look at the armoire because I was seeing these figures. I was seeing like beings in the wooden armoire. So I kept looking outside going, that's real. That's real. I'm going to keep looking at that. So I started to recover. I I had to fly from Luxor to Cairo, Cairo, New York. Just that is a good 20 hour journey. New York, Atlanta, Atlanta, San Diego. That was the journey. So it's 24 hours trip or more than that. Um, so What happened was got on the plane, slept most of the way from Cairo to New York, but got off the jetway in JFK. And I saw all the people as walking black and white paper dolls. Now that freaked me out and would freak anybody out because everything was like, what is this? Where am I? This is horrible. This is, and it was angry and, and grief stricken and dark. And I was petrified and freaking out. I had a book with me and I was looking at the book and I was just kept looking at the pages and looking at the pages and looking at the pages. Uh, after a while, I realized I had the book upside down, <laughs> but I, I was just, I was just, I had to look at something that was real. Okay. In my mind, got on the plane. And by the time I got to San Diego, that, that vision disappeared. I, I wasn't seeing things like that. However, I was stuck in depression and anger and fear. I was miserable. I ended up losing my job. I, um, I fired my family. I stopped all my hobbies. I was absolutely miserable. And I went to a lot of different psychics and healers and therapies trying to figure out what happened to me. I was different. I was radically different, but yet I was somehow the same. So I continued the journey and I was stuck in that for about nine months to a year. And I was a mess. And I finally found a a healer that said you had stuck energy. All the while, I, I kept having these visions and these awarenesses and information. It was like this massive download. And this was before the internet, okay, 1998. So I was getting this bits of information and they weren't using the word quantum. I was trying to find a word. I was trying to find a way to to describe or experience what was happening to me. Uh, There was nobody I could talk to. There was nowhere to do any research. And I started, I was interviewed and participated in a a number of near-death experience stories and videos um, because something happened to me in that time. I could see something different. 
and other people weren't seeing things that I was seeing. I couldn't even go to a grocery store or market because I would see things that everybody else did. So what happened was a little story is, is I kept getting these visions and information that I was supposed to help other people with this. I didn't know how I was going to do that. But I, speaking of coffee, I would, when I was in Egypt, I was really fascinated with the coffee grounds and the coffee ground readers that they had. So I decided I was going to do it. So I poured myself some coffee and I started doing it for friends. And they were like, oh, hugging oh. the cup. Yeah, yeah. yeah, reading the cups. And they're like, how are you seeing all of that in the coffee grounds? And I'm like, well, I'm actually seeing your energy. And they're like, what? So again, I did not have a framework um, or of what was going on with people um, other than I was just knowing it and seeing it. I say seeing, but I would just know. So, I mean, in the, in the coffee grounds or in the mud, how would I know all these complicated aspects of their life? So that's how it evolved. And little by little, I started to develop what I call my tools my quantum tools that I would help people to apply and that would start raising their vibration, start changing their world. And little by little, I discovered and massaged and unfolded and streamlined these tools to a way that I could pl apply and teach my clients how to use them themselves that literally transforms lives. I'm going to mention two things actually. So the quantum tool, energy tools is actually a free bonus. Well, worth well more like, like $3,200. That's like, that's like a base level. And my favorite one being the stress buster. We're, we're going to talk about that in a second, but I do want to bring this up because in the story, you mentioned like you're showing a cup uh, of coffee to, to, to the people out there and, you know, saying I can read your energy levels and they were like, what? And I yeah, think sure. a lot of the viewers on this very call, uh, are maybe 50% are like, that's amazing. Well, I, I understand you completely. Like I've, you know, I've, I've been learning about this stuff. I've been studying it. I understand there's healers and psychics out there. And there's the other half, or maybe a small percentage, hopefully, who are like, "What is she talking about? Like, right. is it impossible? Like, what right. is this? Am I in the right place?" Maybe you can speak to those people. Try and convert them a little bit. If not, we're going to have to kind of focus on, you know, the stuff we we've come here to talk about okay. the truth, whether people accept it or not. So but I've spent over twenty years myself trying to convince my family I'm not a freak, okay? But um, the truth of it is, is I'm not here to convince anybody because I know what I know and I know that I've helped people. And so a lot of people are doubters in the beginning. And usually when I have a conversation with them and I explain certain things, then they can understand and they're like, oh my gosh, she does know. All right, and that's one way that I convince people. The other way is that we're all psychic at some level. I don't even like to use that word, but let's call it intuitive, okay? We, we have these gut feelings. We have these senses. We're pre-wired. This is part of our spiritual blueprint, right? But we haven't been taught these things in mainstream educational system. I mean, I'm a product of the mainstream education. I'm not a freak. I was in corporate America. I was successful in, in, in my role. And I'm not, uh, you know, my eyeballs aren't spinning and I'm not wearing turbans and I'm not doing all this freaky stuff. In fact, you don't even have to burn candles or light incense. And all of those things are nice. <laughs> I'm talking about what we're pre-wired with. These are natural spiritual gifts and abilities. And when we streamline our energy field, those come online and those become amplified. So every single client of mine, whether you're the successful billionaire or whether, and in fact, that's why he is successful because he listens to his intuition, which is the very thing that he's wired with. And so he comes from an Indian culture, okay, which those, those concepts were much more ingrained in part of his learning and his training and his society. Here in the West, we're not so much. We're afraid of these things. But, oh, all the, all the churches now are teaching meditation. I've watched over the last 20, 25 years how that's been integrated into corporations, into the church systems. So those are things that bring us in alignment with our creator, with our higher self. So, you know, um, your natural ability to see or to hear things or to feel things, 
those will become amplified. And that is how your inner GPS starts to, 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 to track and, and guide you. And I show you how to access that. That's really the deepest part of all of this work. And you know what? We can pussyfoot around it or call it what we want. Oh, I like the word intuitive better than psychic or whatever. Call it whatever you want. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. In fact, I have a hard time labeling myself because once you label it, you define it and you lock it in, right? So yeah. it's in the terms of quantum, we're expanding. We're expanding into a fuller version of ourselves, into the dynamic spiritual creator that we are. And woo, I got more goosebumps here. And I'm staying some good stuff, huh? <laughs> oh, for sure. Um, and we're just beginning. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm seeing so many, so many questions come in and stuff. And we're gonna, guys, we're gonna cover I some know. of these questions. I'm sorry, here. slow me down because and, I get going, and and I really. Start. No, that's cool. We're on pace. We're on pace. We'll, we'll cover some of the main ones here, which I think will be an incredible win uh, for everyone listening. And obviously, some of the kind of little ones we'll, we'll save to the end. We can go as long as we want after that, but. I think the main, main ones are going to be very, very beneficial for uh, these people listening. But just before we kind of dive in, um, you mentioned you've got this kind of system. You call it the inside-out system. And I think there's like five levels to it, five steps. Maybe you kind of set the context for, for the next questions. You can cover a little bit about that before we dive in. Well, we kind of already started in that because I think the very first, well, it's not think. Uh, the first step is acknowledging that very essence of you, being a spiritual being and being part of this let's call it energy, the system, the, the quantum field is acknowledging that you're part of a system and it's all connected. Okay. That's an awareness, a certain level of stepping into that new reality and creating something different for yourself. And the next step is recognizing that there's blocks that are interfering in that energetic or spiritual or creative flow when we can identify those blocks and then unplug the cords or the connections, the links, if you, if, if you prefer, um, cords, there's yeah. links to everything, you know, just like when you see a spider web, the, the spider web, everything is so intricate, intric intricately, there we go, um, connected. And we as humans, we, in our three, three D reality, we forget that there's so much more than our conscious awareness is that's all linked together. So when we can start breaking up the links to let's say ancestral patterns or, you know, a family belief system, or even something that you were taught in first grade, that's no longer real or the history has yeah. been flipped or something like that. Um, I think we can make some radical shifts and then we start stepping into the fulfillment of that. And our, as I mentioned, our spiritual gifts come online, our natural abilities to manifest because we can replenish ourselves with that truth, with that knowingness, with that connection. It's like a link. It's like clicking that seatbelt. Click. I'm in, you know, yeah. and vroom, <laughs> you can just, you know, race down the, the thoroughfare. Mm -hmm. What do you call America's called highway because I'm in London right now. We call it yeah. the, the motorway, but I guess highway, highway or freeway. Let's get on yeah, the Autobahn, it. okay? Like in Germany and just Germany. I've been on that. Yeah, it's crazy. Race to our destination. Like, Honestly, that's, guys that, that's a complaint that I've gotten from clients because I remember a client calling me years ago. She could not sell her house if her sold it. She she. <laughs> She did everything. She even planted a, a plastic Virgin Mary upside down in the back of the corner behind the tree because somebody, some psychic or healer told her this works mm. a charm, right? She did everything. Yeah. Affirmations, cleaned the house, did the feng shui, had it listed. There was like a hundred homes on that street in, I think it was in Lake Tahoe because it was a very long street. So what happened was I said to her, I said, after we did our work together, I said, mark my word, I don't want to hear you calling me and complaining that, oh my God, my house is sold so fast and you're going to be packing in the night. Mark my word, it happened. She got a cash deal. It was like within seven days of our work together and boom, it was sold. And she was packing in the night and, and trying to get rid of everything. And so it was... She didn't complain though. <laughs> She's happy. 
that's mad. That's mad. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people think like the, like the universe trying like out to get them, or you know, they have a spell on them, which is the, kind of the term you use. Um, maybe you can like highlight that when people feel they have a spell on them on how to well, maybe. Well, that's exactly it. Or they're just stuck, and this is their karma. And well, you know, our family has just bad luck, and or there's a spell. Um, I've had clients call me and spent thousands and thousands of dollars with people removing, trying to remove the spell when it comes back to energy or blocks. And when you understand and can follow the, when you can see them and do something about them, remove that block. It's like, if there's a dirty pair of shoes that are, that got something stinky stuck on the bottom, you can just take them outside, right? Or put them in the bin. And that's what we can do when we can identify it. So yeah. the, 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 it, there's not, listen, I recognize having lived in the Middle East and understand the culture, there is blocks. Some people call them spells. Some people call them black magic. Some people mm -hmm. call them whatever. Again, it's a label. But when you can see it and track it and, and eradicate it, remove it, that's the key. Yeah. So again, call cool. it what you want. Very, very cool. Actually, yeah, that's the first time I learned it. It's like, it's so true. Like different cultures have different names because mm -hmm. everyone gets so confused. That's quite a new one for me, actually. Because I've noticed in America, they call it spells and stuff like that. Uh, right. Especially like the... Uh, and like, black magic is another one yeah. or a hex or, you know. Yeah, sage, wizard, all that stuff. Yeah. Well, and a lot of times we, we make these so-called spells on ourselves. I mean, it's our negative energy. Our negative thought patterns. Well, how do you just stop those negative thought patterns, right? You can write affirmations till the, you're blue in the face. But I'm telling you, that's nice. It's a good start. But that's not going to change the program. You know, if I've got a virus on my computer and everything is screwed up and I can't write a Word document because it just gets all gobbledygook. Oh, oh I, have, I have good... Um, my, my word document is working flawlessly, you know, that say it a thousand times a day. It's not going to fix it. Yeah. I used to have literally like a list of my information and I used to record it and listen to my audio as I was, and I was, and I would say at the same time, obviously that I stopped doing after like a few months. There's only so many times you can say I'm a millionaire and you're not going to be a millionaire. Like there's other and, steps and why to is that? Back to the, back to those steps. It's because this the work we're doing and that I've been working with people is this is not intellectual. This is not about, you know, copying lines or copying somebody else's information. It's unique for you. You've got an emotional component and unless you've got the right emotions or your emotions are free flowing and there's no blocks there to really integrate that experience of feeling and being a millionaire it ain't going to manifest yeah exactly because you just reject it whether you because there's an or not. emotional component and even if you feel oh yes i feel like it i'm a winner and i'm gonna get yes. win that lottery ticket you're not you fuzzy <laughs> you feel warm and fuzzy for for a few seconds that's why we don't like a lot of these kind of gurus and mentors because i mean the whole meditation thing you mentioned has been beaten to death there's, just, there's only so many things you can when you do it it's like you feel good maybe for the event that one day, but then you're back in your other environment where you just go back to your old habits and nothing's really changed. So that I mean, well, for my past experience, like, like I knew there was a level deeper, hence here I am with you. Right. This. Well, and, and another thing that people don't realize is they can download or they can sign up for a program. And I know people that have spent tens of thousands of dollars and you download it. Okay. I'm all excited. I'm going to do this. It's got the, you know, it's the best thing since nighttime baseball and sliced bread. And I'm going to just dive in and I'm going to stay on track. And because I'm just going to do it every day or I'm going to do it every week. Well, why do people fall off track? Because they don't have a connection. Again, there's the emotional disconnect and group trainings or group, you know, okay, I get group coaching. Well, how does that help you individually? Because this is not intellectually learned. The whole process that I take people through is an experience. And without me sort of plugged in to your energy field, you're not going to shift it because you're going to go back to what feels good and a comfortable pattern. It's like a, a new pair of shoes 
versus your comfortable slippers, right? When the shoes start to hurt and squeeze your foot, you take them off and you put your slippers on. And that's exactly what people do is they go back to a state or an energetic pattern that feels comfortable. If you're, if you've ever taken a yoga class, you know, where you, you can do the yoga at home and you can follow it on the floor in your living room, but you're not ever going to do that back bend or stand on your head unless you've got somebody holding you or showing you, Oh, just move your right. arms or move your head a little way. And then boom, you slip into that pattern. It's having that guidance into where you hit the groove. That's a very, very cool analogy. It's actually, actually instead of yoga, what you do as well, but martial arts as well, that, that so applies to me because even like the teacher like you can do, you can wave your hands and legs are out all you want. But until the teacher says, just literally move your elbow like 30 degrees in, you're going to have like drastically like two extra power. And I remember teachers just showing me like, oh, just twist your foot like this angle and try this. And I was like, instantly, like literally instantly, I could yeah. see the result and feel the result. It's yeah. the exact same thing here. It's totally, yeah, it's totally like get that. The click of the seatbelt, right? Yeah. You've all of a sudden got it and you hear the sound. There's like an energetic, woohoo, I'm in it. <laughs> Boom. Exactly. Yeah, shift into gears and, and, and the whole game changes. Exactly. So hopefully so people get I this. keep harping, I keep harping on, this is not intellectual. Like you, you said with the martial arts, you can't learn martial arts. You can learn some things on YouTube, but I don't care how many YouTube martial arts <laughs> videos you watch. Yes. First of all, you need a partner, <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. You need somebody to work with. It's like they need that human connection. Even like with this whole concept, like I think it's great because they learn how to apply it in their world. Like meditation is great because like, yeah, you feel cool, but you're in your own house, you're, you're in your kind of safe zone, your comfortable zone. But then when you go outside and start talking to people, like you don't know how, how to handle that energy from them. So with oh, this, and I it, like it's that, so that you brought that up because I work with a lot of people that are highly sensitive. Even mm -hmm. Mr. Dr. Michael, who is a successful businessman, he's highly sensitive. And he dismisses it, but he's picking up signals all day long. So the difference with the type of work I integrate with people is, as you said, um, taking it out into the world. In fact, I encourage people, if they didn't have a job, if they're in between jobs, to be doing something. And the, because these quantum tools that I integrate or help you integrate into your life are all about daily living. They're taking these tools to not only the meditation space. Yes, they can be used in that. However, they are functional at work with your spouse at the dinner table, with the kids going to basketball in the school, every aspect of life. We're integrating these. That's where this becomes different. Yeah. So powerful. I mean, one last thing, cause I see some of the questions coming up as well. Like one personal kind of analogy or metaphor that's really what helped me is even like the concept of electricity. I like it because like it's everywhere, like it's power in this thing now, but we don't know how it works. We don't have to use it even unless we kind of study it. But then intellectually, you're still not going to get it fully. But the, what blows my mind as well is electricity has been around since man itself. The concept has been around until someone took the time to discover it and use it. Um, and the thing is like, whether it's Tesla or, or you know, Edison, whatever story you believe, but the point is it was around until someone discovered it and used it. So with energy itself, like, is it such a crazy concept that maybe this energy thing is real? This vibration stuff is real yet. You haven't had the tools, the right tools and maybe the right guidance to access that kind of power, which is exactly what we're trying to bring to you here. Okay. So if anyone's still a bit skeptical, hopefully that's cleared up a bit because I'm the most logical and analytical guy ever, as Amira can tell you. I'm systems focused, automations focused, business focused. So this took a while for me to get into, but boy, am I, am I sold completely. So life changing for any kind of business owners, uh, professionals, um, just like myself. Yeah, so, I really appreciate that, Vitaly, because um, men seem to be the early adopters of the tools that I use, and they they get really into it. And women, they need a little bit more time, and they 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 hold they integrate it differently. But mm -hmm. what I have, I was going to say to you as you said that is, 
you know, I don't need to know how electricity works. I just turn it on and power it on, right? And the same is with my tools. I don't have to know how they work. I just know they work. And with thousands of clients over the last 20 years, I've witnessed people transform their lives in miraculous ways that shock me even because I never saw that coming. I'm just holding a vibration for them to have something that's mind blowing, you know, game changing. Um, there was something else I wanted to add to that and it just sort of escaped me. Um, it'll come back hopefully. Um, so w oftentimes when I'm channeling this information, it just, you know, comes and goes yeah. real quick. That's um, cool. That's cool. On honestly, we've got like, I I'll read these questions out. I mean, a few, okay. I kind of relate to this stuff and hopefully that kind of that cool idea is going to pop up as we can discuss more. Absolutely. Um, but I'll read these out and then we'll get to the main ones that a few people have sent in, kind of the bigger ones, and then cover these at the end for a Q&A, um, just kind of in flow, kind of, I mean, on pace. So Amira says, without the H, like your name, uh, another Amira's name says, how, uh, so how do I raise my energy vibration? Um, that's one question I want to cover. Nelson Seeger, what do you mean by quantum? Isn't that physics? Rosa Fene, I've tried all kind of modalities, healers, they work for a little bit, a little while, but then stop. Uh, Polina, I've tried meditation, doesn't work. Okay, we're going to get into that and probably already covered why it, that alone doesn't work. Yes, it's a cool tool. It's cool tonight to get clear headed, but it doesn't get to the root cause basically. So, you know, all of that sort of point to, and, I, and it's come back to me, I want to say, is some great leaders in the, in the field have been doc, uh, Dr. Deepak Chopra, who I remember when I first yeah. heard him speak and read his books, I went, that's what happened to me. I know what he's talking about because in my near death experience, I had the concept that everything is energy. And in my near death experience, they showed me that all of my life challenges with my physical health issues and my emotional issues, because I was highly sensitive my entire life, were my stuck emotions. And so I literally saw a timeline in my near death experience showing me like all these red marks on the timeline of where I had stuck energy. And when I started to clear that and have tools, that was where I started is like, I got to clear that. I got to clear that. And then Dr. Chopra basically gave me that word, the quantum. Then I understood, oh, that's where I'm working. Mm -hmm. Esther Hicks is another one. She talks about yeah. everything is energy and how to raise your vibration. But there again, they're not giving you quantifiable system that will work consistently. And that's why I call it quantum because it is scientific and it's transformative. Yeah. We need the steps in the system to do it. Got it. Got it. I mean, this, and, one, this question. And, and, oh. and so you, your question was, how do I know? Well, the first place to start is just releasing what's not you. That's how I say it in the simplest way without getting into physics, releasing what's not you in a simple way. And that's by applying the tools when you can replace what's what you've been holding on to with what you are with your natural frequency and 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 setting that up so that you literally download an upgraded version of yourself um then everything starts working seamlessly yeah. as has always been working but mm -hmm. exactly people people get in their own way uh, so this, this question is kind of very related to your the first one you covered about trauma and you know the whole covid situation um so Madeline, uh, Amira, I've experienced and seen that a lot of people have been traumatized this year. I'm in the UK and it's madness. And I think she would like the reference like dep depression, divorce, it's highest in 20 years, something like that. Um, so maybe you can cover this a little bit more because uh, I think some people don't understand the whole trauma aspect. You know, when energy gets stuck, it creates depression and dis-ease that leads to death, death of dreams, death of hopes, death of vitality, and eventually everything, you know, death of relationships, death of careers. So, you know, that's stuck energy and we can point fingers and blame people all we want, but that doesn't solve our problem. So, you know, there's a camp of people that want to blame or continue to watch negative news and find all the reasons in the world why something isn't working or whose fault it is. But the bottom line is you come in alone and you go out alone. And how are you going to make your journey? 
So I like to work with people who are ready to embrace that and who are here to manifest the best version of themselves, you know, and stop whining. I mean, we all have our pity parties. <laughs> I cry too. Um, you know, I'm in a really great mood today doing channeling and connecting with you and all the listeners. Um, okay. But but I have my moments too. And what I do is I use my tools. So I, you know, you asked me earlier, why am I different? Well, I'm a healer that has been through immense pain and struggles and life dramas and traumas also from illness and death and sicknesses and losing everything and leaving country and starting over and being divorced and healing myself when the doctors told me death or wheelchair, you pick. And I don't choose either. I've been through all of it. Okay. So there's a lot of people that have taken weekend trainings or download a, you know, a, an online course for 10 weeks or three months. And they think and call themselves a healer or a coach, but I'm telling coach, you, yeah. you know, I am been walking my talk. I've been self healing. I never got into this to help people like you or anybody. Honest to God, I was trying to be more successful in my career. But life took me, the path opened up in a whole different way. So, you know, I, I consider myself grounded, practical, and realistic and take things, you know, a bite at a time. We can't, you know, drive into the buffet and, you know, take it all in. You know, I do give people a drive through approach that is at a quantum level working super fast, it's rocket charged. And we need to actually slow it down some time to integrate. But that's the critical part is recognizing what we need to do and be practical with it. Otherwise, it is not going to be lasting. It's just going to be like something else you downloaded and it's in your inbox or it's on your bookshelf, you know, and it just reminds you of the failures, you know, what a failure you are, you know, and all you do your taxes <laughs> and you see all the money you've wasted on certain products and items. And it's just like, oh, God, that's another failure, you know? Yep. No ROI, speaking business terms. No return on investment. No. It is. I mean, it's like speaking. I think that's that's a key point. You're speaking to a lot of people because a lot of these people have been at this for three, five, ten years um, and still don't feel they've, they're they getting the results that they, at least that they feel that they deserve. So, well, uh, I mean, so, so huge. You know, you could get a coach at the driving range or you could sign up with a coach like, you know, uh, what's his name? Tiger Woods. You know, you're going to probably get good, different results. Now, he's definitely got a different skill level. And I, I'm sure he never started out with the level of coach that he started out with when he first began. So we, we, we elevate based on, you know, our personal life experience. Um, but... And I'm not trying to say that I'm the Tiger Woods level coaches for people on the spiritual path, but I'm here to say I've been down the track. So I've got enough life experience behind me and a wide variety of experiences that lead and, and assist in the type of work I do and how I am able to support people. Um, that, you know, it doesn't come from book learning. It doesn't come, it's on the job training, so to speak, on, mm -hmm. you know, on track, on life and being realistic and compassionate of we can only do these things at a pace that the body can handle. Yeah, you know? integrate it. Even speaking about the kind of uh, like the stuff now, I, I see this question popped up with law of attraction, the big one, the big theme. And the question is like uh, from Bolson Slava, uh, so I can use energy and vibration to attract my desires without studying and learning, like basically without the intellectual stuff. Isn't that just law of attraction? Yes, it is. We're dealing at a quantum level, um, but you cannot learn how to use the law of attraction. Does that make sense? It is a exactly. vibrational activation that engages with the law of attraction. So shift your energy. How do you shift your energy? Think positive all day, say affirmations, ohm, ohm for two hours in the morning, every day and at night. I mean, the question yeah, is how to that. get to that vibrational point to engage with the law of attraction. Because a lot of people are engaging the law of attraction and they get negative shit all, all day long. 
when their relationships break up or they can't handle, you know, things at work or they're not getting promoted. My client, Carrie, she was a person practicing law of attraction. She was very well versed in all the spiritual principles. However, she was not getting promoted. She would work harder and harder and longer and longer. And they, she was almost invisible, right? And after we worked together, not only did she get promoted, actually she threatened, she found another job. She got recruited and they gave her promotion to not leave, but she left anyway. She started earning $40,000 more immediately a year. She got a huge signing bonus and stock with this new company. She worked there traveling the world. She loved it. So the point is she knew all the stuff. It wasn't that she wasn't aware of it. She wasn't connecting with it in the way that was going to give her the results she was looking for. Exactly. It just makes sense from a universal perspective. Like, I mean, time is precious. You, you don't want to spend two hours on in and on in or whatever. Like there has to be better tools, especially like, I mean, if it's, we speak to like professionals or business owners, entrepreneurs, they want that kind of next level piece because they don't have, have time for this stuff. They want to fix this stuff, move on, move forward with life, build momentum again, and kind of move from there. So it's such a major, major piece. Even one here that's coming up um, just quickly, like a lot of people saying, like, I'm, you know, I can fix myself. Even when it's kind of naysayer, which um, I don't want to bring up, but I'll, I'll read it anyway. I'm always informed by watching the news and YouTube TV shows. I know who to trust and I can figure this out. Thanks. Um, maybe a little bit on that. That's common with, with all the successful people that I work with or people that are struggling with finding success because they think they can fix it themselves, but they keep spinning. It's like a dog chasing their tail and they go around and around and around and they waste more and more time and they get more and more frustrated and then they call themselves a loser, right? <laughs> or if I just yeah. meditate more or I watch more training videos or I got to do more right? So that's a, that's a sense of lack. And when you say that you got to do more and there's that energetic vibration, then, you know, law of attraction kicks into gear and it gives you more of exactly what you got, <laughs> not what you want. <laughs> so, so true. Guys, we can, we can wrap forever. I mean, sometimes me and Mira like talk for like two, I think longest like three hours. So yeah, we do. Uh, I mean, guys, if you have questions, hit them up. I mean, at least pull a like, just so you know, kind of American know, like, you know, this is coming through to you. You're liking this content. So if you make more of it, help more people. If you have a friend, maybe a family member who you may, you feel may benefit from this information, you know, hit the share button, at least maybe comment, tag them in the comments. Maybe they check it out. Maybe they won't, but at least you're doing something to kind of, uh, ideally help them out or, you know, slowly push them over you know, to the finish line or you know, to the next destination of their journey. So show, show, some, uh, show some love. Um, I'm just seeing them in the last comments. We'll cover a few of these at the end. Um, but we're gonna do like a quick little kind of, a little break, because one, I'm gonna be mindful of Mira's time, of course, she's very, very busy. And two, we don't wanna overwhelm you, okay? A lot of this stuff may be new to you. Some stuff, you know, maybe a little bit kind of in the kind of refinement stage, a lot of you kind of the terms, uh, kind of, what's the word for it? Like refreshing. Cause there's been a lot of talk about energy. There's many, many gurus and mentors. Everyone's got their own kind of side to this. Um, in fact, one of the programs Amira has a lot of these kind of so-called gurus have tried to knock this off and you know, they're sending this stuff for like $2,000, $5,000. I mean, one of the main coaches, maybe you can drop his name or not his coaching program is like $10,000 a month. So yet yeah, they don't even do half. They don't even really compare to the work you do. So perhaps you can you know, tell the people who are a little bit curious, a little bit open to this, um, just a little bit about what you do. You hinted at a little bit of the kind of intuitive program. I think you call it the uh, intuitive incubator program. So perhaps kind of talk a little bit about that and how they can potentially have a conversation with you to um, you know, have a clearing, how, you know, discuss this energy stuff because as you mentioned this energy field these energy fields these programs are specific to each person so it has to be one-on-one -on -one, okay this can't be a group thing you have to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with this person to identify their sticking points and kind of potentially fix it or you know, show them where to, how how to kind of go about clearing their own kind of energy fields 
So I started the incubator program because I have a lot of people that want to do extended training with me to either accelerate their own profession or integrate these skills in their already existing healing profession. Um, but I, I decided after watching and, and observing people for over a decade is that we need to get to a certain level to be able to shift the energy before I can take people into advanced trainings. So I decided that the real benefit, you know, I'm here to truly help people change their life and to integrate it, not to just be fluff or something that you, you know, take it, download it and forget it. That's not my intention. So um, in, in order to do that, we do the one-on-one, -on -one, as you mentioned. And what I notice is people have rapid transformations in ways that they could not have perceived. They come with a list of things that they want to see different in their life. And I'm not, I can't guarantee the order that we fulfill those, that wish list. And many times there's things on the, that never made their wish list. They're like, oh my gosh, I've always wanted that. And they, they long forgot about it. Things start manifesting in their life in ways that are, I, I call them everyday miracles. That's what wakes okay. me up in the morning. So excited to do my work, right? When people are fulfilled. And within 14 days, I, a lot of people start experiencing shifts within a couple days of us working together. Um, and some people, it's a little bit longer of a, you know, a fulfillment, but it, it shifts them at ways that are profound. Yeah, I mean, totally. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't even say it shifts pretty quickly. I mean, we had a call together and you could instantly spot things. I had like past a bad experience with my or business partner. You meant you can brought up the thing of, you know, I was robbed, which I was robbed. I lost about like $50,000 stuff, which I never had this conversation with Amira. She, she was able to pinpoint this. I don't know how she does it. Okay, it's like electricity. I don't know how she does it, but she was helping to guide me with my kind of uh, you know, my brother, um, you know, this business partner, a few other areas in my life. And it's not like she can see all your private secrets. It's like, I don't know how it works, but maybe like spirit just shows you what that person needs to see and kind of like that, that is it. Um, so it's very impressive. And the change was pretty instant. Well, um, I mean, I felt pretty light. Um, I've noticed even today, actually, I was like, wait a minute, I'm, I'm laughing so much more. I, even little stupid stuff like YouTube videos, like I'm like, and the laugh, like, I know it's gonna sound crazy, but my laugh has changed a bit. It's a bit more like, ha oh, ha, like I, I can't you even mean do it genuine. now. It's so cringe. It's genuine. It's more open. It's like authentic. <sighs> you know, it really yeah, bugs me when people go, hee hee hee, or they got these fake laughs. You can just, you know, whether it's twitter or not twitter TikTok. Mm. you know you can you can identify there's something in you that says that's fake you know yeah. and nice. so yeah i appreciate you sharing that because one of the biggest things that people say to me is i feel lighter i don't know how to define it but i feel lighter yeah and brighter and you're like more cheerful and that starts to build and it builds and then people at work go, gee, did, did you change your hair or did you change your makeup or gee, you're dressing different or you're walking different and you're like, uh, no. Energy's different. <laughs> yeah. So that's what a lot of clients will tell me. They're just like, oh my gosh. Yeah. People are starting to notice. And when strangers say things to you, that's pretty fun too. Okay. I tell women, you know, don't be surprised. Somebody's going to bag your groceries for you or carry things out to the car for you or open the door for you more. And you'll see little signs that show you in the world when you're out and about doing your things that something's different. And again, it's, ident it's difficult to pinpoint where or how, even for me. I, I'm glad you brought that up about, you think Amira's reading everything, all your secrets and everything. You know, that, that freaks people out a lot about me. Um, but I guarantee you, it's almost like a flash, like somebody highlighted a file for me to open on your, mm. on your desktop. And so I open the file and then another thing is highlighted to me. So it literally pops up at me. So that's your spirit is reflecting that to me. I'm not 
diving into all the nitty gritties. I can't even remember my sessions. So that's always good too. So I yeah, can't talk so about yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember pretty well. It's very mm-hmm. cool. So Amira, let's, let's just kind of drop a link because uh, I mean, some of these guys are probably like just gearing to kind of have a conversation with you, speak with you. And Amira has kind of done something very, very special because I have kind of convinced her to do it, to open up her schedule a little bit more to kind of have a conversation with, with some people who who feel this is for them, okay? Whether it's a call-in, whether, you know, you're just maybe curious, like I mentioned. So the, the quickest way to kind of discover more is to go to amirahall.com forward slash explore. Now, Amira spelled with a H at the end, um, but I'm going to drop a link below so you can see it, okay? You don't have to, like, guess. I'm, you're going to see it below uh, somewhere about now. And you can type it in, open a tab, at least maybe do it now, let the tab load and continue listening to this. But highly, highly recommend it. You can... I mean, what have you got to lose? Absolutely nothing. Have a conversation. And for those who are, are interested in taking this 10 steps further, she does have incubator, the incubator program, but most of you are going to get an ex- incredible experience within that hour and maybe enough. Maybe you want more. That's totally on you, but at least make a decision, take a little bit of action because, um, from personally speaking is so, so worth it to get that extra guidance, to get that kind of second perspective, second angle you've seen. You haven't someone show you a different angle of your life, which you're not aware of. Like a lot of these things I wasn't even aware of because I'm so in my head. I'm so analytical. I don't take time as much as I should do to do the quantum tools, uh, the clearing tools, which speaking of are actually available for free. She has seven powerful quantum energy tools, which are available, like no charge, totally free, no email address required. There'll be a link at the bottom of that page. So you can access it, download it, listen to it probably in today, tomorrow, whatever fits your style and, you know, get a taste of this, get a taste of this energy boost. And hopefully you start feeling better very, very soon. So that's amirahall.com forward slash explore. Have the link below now. And um, I just want to say that this, this is a special offer that we're opening up. I won't be able to hold my calendar open for people that want to explore for too long. So they need to take action immediately. Um, and I can't say for how long it's going to be open. So. Yeah, it is. I mean, some of the success stories are, I mean, there's, there was more people we kind of spoke about. It was like, it was like Dana, there's like this, this pharmacist I and mean, there's a lot of professional people. So, uh, Oh yeah. I mean, Dana, Dana was a stories. great story when she had a lot of problems. She's a pharmacist, a very successful pharmacist and been doing the work and loves the work, but she was really struggling with her health and she was struggling with a relationship she had with her mother. Now that wasn't the reason she called me. Okay. She wanted to smooth things out with her work and decide where she was going to go. She was feeling frustrated and wanted more passion in her life. Well, it affected every area of her life, but I have to say the most remarkable thing is that a relationship with her mother that she's always struggled with, it's always been a thorn in her side and she just sort of put up with it. Uh, um, Her mother transformed. I mean, remarkably, her mother, the way she treats her and the way she responds to her is night and day. So the work we do, yes, it's for you. Now I'm getting poetic, but it transforms everybody in your life. I'm, women often call me and say, my husband's a piece of, you know what, or this is really rocky or this is not working in doing the work together. I remember a lady that came to me with, um, she had divorce papers in her purse. I did not know this. And I remember seeing the, the energy of this man was violent and he was a bad dude. And I remember going down that train, like he's a piece of crap. You know, you got to get rid of this guy. Then I remember hearing spirit say to me, just do what you do. See what you see, do what you do. So I did that. She called me six months later and she said, Amira, I don't know what you did, but he is a completely different man. And she did not divorce him. She said, I told, I didn't tell you, but I had divorce papers. She goes, I didn't divorce him. So there's wonderful stories like that. In some cases, people end up splitting up because they're ready to, you know, and it Mm. just is a natural flow of where they need to go. So I really am, am really implore and, and, emphasize that the work you do for you is yes for you, but it affects everybody, your kids, kids that don't go to bed at night and they're struggling with grades at school or bedwetting. I've had 
clients say to me, oh, my daughter, she stopped wetting the bed at night. And, um, you know, kids that were almost going to get kicked out of school, um, all of a sudden they're getting an honor award, you know, for the best loved kid in the class. And those are true stories that I have with clients that are so sweet to hear. Yeah, there's so many of them actually. Like when you do access the quantum tools, I just remember that on the page, I remember seeing actual video interviews with all these other people. So, mm -hmm. I mean, like anyone who sees the comments, like, you know, I don't know if it'll work for me or, or you know, a few doubts and stuff, check out the actual real life group. These are real people. You can probably look them up. They're professionals. They're kind of, uh, you know, pharmacists, authors, business people, entrepreneurs, like talking real, real people. So, you know, just from the experience alone, working with thousands of people, I mean, like, I don't know why these people have this kind of excuse, like, oh, it might not work for me. There's always like this special case, like, no, I'm special. Like, this is not going to work for me. And they resist it for some reason. Why? I don't know. Um, maybe it's a part of, maybe they like it. Maybe they enjoy being stuck in this situation. I don't know. It confuses me. But maybe you can kind of cover that a little bit. Well, there is a payoff to staying stuck. You get to be right. You get to be right mm. in your position. You get to be right that you're a failure. You get to, you know, and psychologists can go on and on about this, but hey, you know what? I'm not here to push or pull anybody. I've been doing my work and, and really started just to save me. So whether a person is ready to, to jump on and they've had enough of their BS in their life and they're ready to make a shift, then they're ready. You know, I can't take the horse to water and make him drink. I can just present this and offering all the free tools in the world isn't going to transform you. The trick is you've got to download them and you've got to sit and listen to them. You've got to be the adult in the party here and, and, and do this for yourself because you're worth it. I think you're worth it. That's why I'm giving you this gift. That's a, an invaluable gift. I often say to my lady clients, you know what, if you valued what I gave to you, at no charge, I should be charging you the price of a Gucci purse because this is more valuable than you can imagine. And you value the Gucci purse and you take special care and you put it in a special bag and you bring it out on special occasions. These tools are for you to Im implement and they work and they have transformed lives over and over and over. And they're the basic tools that I apply every single day. They will shift your energy. Now, there's some techniques that I teach you and different ways to apply it, but you've also got to remove the blocks at a deeper level. So it's all an integrative part of uh, process. And, and if you're not ready, you're not ready. And I'm okay with that. You know, I mean, I hate to have a smile on my face saying that, but um, the truth of reality is, is everybody's at a different place. And, um, you know, the light is coming on for many people and they're fed up with what they've been experiencing so far. Yeah. They're ready to make that change. And those are the people that I'm opening my calendar for. Exactly. Perfect. Perfect. Like you mentioned as well, for those who feel it's not ready for them, like to put it bluntly, there is a cost. There is a cost to stay in that kind of old, I guess, paradigm. Yeah. That's kind of those beliefs because you can stay in the same place. Like if, if you enjoy staying in the same place, I know I personally don't, I'm obs obsessed with growth and just kind of development and like learn about the stuff. Um, so those, I guess those people are probably, it's kind of good they don't book a call because they're not ready. And then you have to spend like an hour convincing right. them why energy is a real thing. So, you know, if you're like that, that kind of person, they probably, honestly, if you're still watching this, you're not that person because they were very yeah. likely dropped off a long time ago right. in the thought of like, Maybe trauma right. or energy would have scared them off. They probably swiped away and watched the next cat video and lo and behold, stay in know. the same place. Did I share the story about Dr. Eunice with you? Dr. Uh, Eunice yeah, no, was a very successful doctor, um, medical doctor, and she was working for, uh, what do you call them, an organization. And that organization of doctors or um, a group, I guess you could say, that they folded, they, they declared bankruptcy. And she was left with lost clients or patients. She lost revenue. She was also now faced with financial ruin and she was an emotional wreck. And she had been studying the law of attraction and done trainings and all kinds of courses for, for decades. And honestly, she had never accessed a level of understanding and integration until 
we did some work together that transformed her. So when, when, when people stay stuck, it costs them relationships. It costs them clients or promotions. It costs them losing perhaps their business so that they get that wake up call. Right. Um, so it, there is an incredible cost, not only to your physical health and the hours of sleep that you're going to lose, you know, what, if you stay where you're at, what are you paying for that? You know, that's, that's something that a lot of people often don't consider. Yeah. Oh, I'm with you there. Totally. For me, my shift happened, like I've already told you, like with my health challenge. So the universe just literally slapped me good, uh, right in the face. I had my plans, everything, and boom, kidney failure, literally out of the blue. But I needed that. Now I realized, obviously I was angry about it. I kind of resisted it. I was like, you know, why is it happening to me? Um, but then I got to realize, oh, this is actually a blessing in disguise. This is literally the universe telling me to wake up, stop being selfish, just making money online. And, you know, why not use those skills to help other people? And that was my big shift. So totally different person. I'm a totally different person. I'm kind of glad that happened. So, you know, yeah, the, the, the wake up call may make you a little bit uncomfortable, but it's highly, highly rewarding. It is a step you have to take though. Because, uh, you know, transformation comes well, with a price. You know, that's profound. I think a lot of people have been struggling with health issues. And certainly there's over the last year, a tremendous amount of fear. And I, you know, I've been asking myself, you know, what are people afraid of? Are they afraid of dying? Well, I had that near death experience. So maybe that's why I wasn't afraid or I've transitioned that, that, that block. But that's, I think the biggest fear that's prevalent right now is dying. And well, if you're afraid of dying, what are you missing out in the meantime? You know, it's literally like you're stuck. You're not going to try anything because you're afraid of failing. You're afraid of losing it. And, uh, well, we've got to move that block. <laughs> exactly. So, I mean, the link is below guys. Look, check out the energy tools, schedule that call. Of course, if the, maybe times don't fit, maybe in Australia or whatever, obviously hit up, uh, the support email, hit up uh, Amira's team. And obviously they'll get back to you kind of to confirm a time, uh, get your, give you a custom time, of course. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing glad one you of... that, uh, Vitaly, because I'm very happy to accommodate. You know, I've got clients around the world. So if it's not working with my schedule, I'm happy to, you know, hear from you and we can make a special exception for you. Of course, because you are special. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, I think I mean, we've covered quite a lot of ground, honestly. Um, there's one last thing. I think this person already knows you, already, has already checked out your website, um, kind of some of your videos. Uh, she mentioned the whole concept of clear, was it clairvoyance, which was new to me. Oh. Um, perhaps we can just recap this, with that kind of one last theme and, you know, let the guys kind of check out. Yeah, the, the I, I think we sort of hinted at that earlier, you know, when you, you said, what am I, why am I different? I'm different because I see things and that's called clairvoyance. That's have, that's a French word that means clear seeing. And so when you talk or business leaders talk about a visionary, or having a clear vision for yourself. That's using your clairvoyance. When you visualize for the law of attraction, when you visualize what's on your, on your uh, vision board, you're training that inner sight so that you could close your eyes and actually see that vision board. So honestly, everybody's using clairvoyance every day. The question is, is it clear? You know, your clear audience, your clear hearing, hearing your higher self, hearing your, your spirit guides or, or your God's messages for you, the angel messages, having that clear definition to listen to that little inner voice. That's also a clear audience. So there's some refining or understanding. Again, I don't like to get hung up on the words because that limits it perhaps, because the way I see things is going to be different than when I work with people in extended training on how you see things or how they're actually visualizing. So that is absolutely unique to each person. It's, um, you know, almost limiting by saying, this is it. Yeah. Yeah. We're still learning. Science is still learning. We're exploring. And I'm a student every day. Every single client that I work with, I see something different in a new way. It's so true of science, actually, even like, I bet in 50 years, people can look back and like laugh at some of the principles and theories that people have now today in the present. So like everyone thinks like, oh, today's science is like the best it's ever been. True, but it's not the best it ever will be. And it's not, you know, 100% fact. 
we're going to look back at the science and kind of laugh at it and say, okay, why would you ever think that? Like Galileo, like, why would you think the sun is in the middle of the solar system? Everyone thought that the earth was in the middle of the solar system. And then stuff like this that we laugh at now, maybe the theory of the flat earth and stuff like that. But, you know, in the future, this science is, is probably not going to be uh, the way it is right now. So open your mind because it's a totally different, um, totally different ball game. So that's Mira Hall for us to actually explore. I want to mention if you want to check out any of the content Mira has on her YouTube channel, on the website, you can just you can just put amirahall.com, okay, and check out the actual website. So I guess of that, um, I personally recommend it. Like I like to say with all my kind of applying stuff, like look, you got to if you want to check out, if you want to buy a house, for example, you have to look, go in on the inside and check it out, experience it for yourself. You can't just be on the outside. You know, looking on the outside, basically. That's not how you experience things. So book the session, check it out, experience it. If it's not for you, cool. Not, nothing lost. If it is for you, boy, your life is going to be dramatically different. Dramatically different. So, Amira, maybe you can wrap something up. But thank you for your time. Thank, obviously, thank you for the viewers. Um, any last words? Kind of fire away. But uh, we can wrap this up, I guess. No more questions. I'm incredibly grateful to be here with you today and for everybody that stayed with us and listened to the messages and uh, that they have an open heart and ready to, you know, open themselves to an incredible mystery journey. So I'm looking forward to that and meeting you. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you guys again. Thank you, Amira. And with that, let's wrap it up. See, see you very soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.